All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Fortnite. Uh, yeah, loading screen. This is going to be a bit of a weird, semi-informal series, uh, but I'm going to have some fun with it. So, Fortnite's a... Uh, you build a fort, obviously, and you survive the night against zombies. It, uh, it's self-explanatory, I guess. I don't know. Oh, hello. What? Tutorial was cancelled, possibly... No, uh, let's try that again. Uh, it's hopefully... <laughs> oh, that's a good start. Honestly, I think I screwed it up. It was doing a cutscene, so I alt f forward out. And I think that made the game freak out a little bit. Hopefully, uh, hopefully everything's okay. Otherwise, we're going to have to start this series off with an email to customer support. I, th I think they've got their shit handled, though. Epic Games makes some pretty decent... Never mind. <laughs> there we go. The storm came without warning. A strange and powerful evil. Oh no, it's Bergy. 98% of the population vanished in an instant. At the end of the world... If you can hear me, I need your help. I'm all alone out here. If you can hear me, I need your help. I'm all alone out here. If you can hear me... Your fight begins. Welcome to home base. Run! Oh, you know what? The zombies remind me of Plants vs. Zombies. I was wondering about that for ages, but this makes total sense. Swarm and destroy. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the tutorial by myself. Oh, that's good. The enemies don't have that much HP. Can I pause? No, I can't pause. Okay, we'll kill these guys, then we'll deal with it later. I'm gonna turn down the sound effects. I'm not a big uh, fan of loud gun noises over nice music that's and other things. Done, okay, find a way out of the caves. Uh, well, we might as well switch, switch to the pickaxe Whenever and just... Something is blocking your path. Destroying it. Break our way through. So far, I like the interface. Pretty simple. What's your situation out here, Ramirez? I've been holding down the fort, but nowhere safe for long. Well, we're here to help. I wonder if these resources carry over from uh 
Mission to mission. Because that'd actually be kind of cool. Oh, it does look like there's a bit of a gun durability system, which worries me. Also, limited ammo, maybe? Wait, I can... Oh. I can craft ammo by pressing holding R. Well, that's neat. Has it always been this bad, Ramirez? Nah, sometimes it's worse. We'll need to build our way out of the cave. Enter build mode and select stairs. Excellent building. Okay, digging this. We got a ninja sword. Nice. I have no idea if that's going to be useful. A much bigger gun. We oh. can help with that. But it's partially busted. Try smashing up some cars and trees. Okay, so harvest resources. We can craft a gun. Nuts and bolts. So we need stringy twine from Twees. Uh, hopefully, like, I can carry these things between missions. That'd be nice. Hopefully, I can also upgrade this pickaxe of mine into something a little bit more... What do I... Uh, what do we want to say? Heavy hitting? It'd be nice if I could actually just harvest everything in one go. Can I harvest flowers? So I can. I'm not entirely sure why I would. Okay, can I... Ah... Uh, there's actually, there, as far as I can tell, there's nothing specifically, uh, like, visible on those posters. I was hoping it would be some kind of, like, weird, dumb joke, but so far, no dice. That's okay. I really like the visual style for this game. It's, I mean, it's cartoony, uh, but I, oh, here we go. Need to craft a gun. Open the inventory, click on the gun icon, select it, and craft. Handmade assault rifle. That does... Okay. Yeah, I would not trust a handmade gun that looks like this. Maybe, I don't know. Hurry up out there, Ramirez. Generally, when I hand make guns, they fire rubber bands. Actual bullets to kill zombies? Now that's questionable. Especially when it's made out of trees and car parts. That's actually a bit of a bit of a darn shame, if you ask me. The um the fact that the uh the fact that the, uh... Oh, what am I thinking? I don't know. It, it would have been a really cool thing if they had actually made all of the guns actually look homemade, or at least the homemade ones. I, I kind of like that, like, uh, mad science, like... Uh... What is it? Hack job, like, weaponry look that a couple of games get. Kind of the, uh... I guess kind of how, uh... How the, the pipe rifles worked in, uh... Fallout. Those looked very, uh, appropriate, I guess. I should probably have tried the sword out. We'll get the chance later. What's your status? We can't find a way out of here soon. We're all as good as dead. Don't worry, hermano. We're working on it. No need to worry. We've got your back. Let's place some traps. To keep husks from getting inside, place traps in front of the door. So yeah, right there. Those traps should buy us some time. Let's see how those survivors are holding up. Okay. Music's... Oh, right. I was going to do this. Legal? Really? That's interesting. Okay, so everything's maxed. That Oh, good. It goes immediately onto windowed full screen. I'm going to turn off the motion blur now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, game, mouse sensitivity, invert, toggle sprint, sprint cancels, reloading. Ta tap to search and interact. Yeah, let's turn that on instead of holding down. Auto-equip better weapons, first person, first person camera. Oh, that's nice. That'll help with shooting if I go with the shooting class. I'm not entirely sure what the plan's gonna be there. But yeah, let's drop sound effects by a fair bit and we're gonna turn off chat volume because I never want to speak with another human being that doesn't have like a pro grade Here microphone. It's... Hang tight. We're gonna take care of it. <laughs> yeah, the tap to search is so much nicer. And we got a bazooka. Uh, Ramirez? I'm getting some seriously weird readings here. What's on the other side of that wall? No clue. We couldn't find our way in. I can fix that. Enter edit mode. Select the square in the middle and the square below it to create a door. Oh, there we go. Well, 
Okay, I'm learning. I was just assuming that I'd have to just bash my way through. Well, I probably shouldn't spend too much time grabbing Whoa. raw resources like a crazy Is person. Oh, hello. Time? Is this a missile or some sort of rocket? Some sort of rocket. Actually, wait. It's the best sort of rocket. Commander, there's a satellite on board. If we have a satellite, we can guide Ramirez and the survivors back to our home base. Then let's launch this thing. Okay, so there's something called Blue Glow. I assume that's more of a quest objective type situation. Let's grab it all because I think it's almost invariably going to say collect all the Blue Glow. No? Great! Now get outside before you're engulfed in flaming rocket exhaust. We need to keep that rocket safe until launch. Another wave's coming! I need some backup! Don't take any chances, Lenny. I'm on my way. Okay. What the hell is that thing? Get out of there! I think I can hold it! I'm really liking the music for this, actually. Music is good. Okay, so we've got the sword. There's some kind of weird power icon. I'm not sure what that specifically means. It doesn't look like it corresponds with anything in my setup. Oh, you're a big sucker. We've got more incoming. You need to protect the survivors. Well, luckily we've got some traps. Not exactly a big fan of the uh, recoil on this thing. Well, it's not so bad when I'm in uh, third-person aiming mode. I guess hipfire is the one where it becomes uh, unreasonable, which is okay. That was odd. Oh, hey, I got my first. Uh, I got my first character ability. Of course, I'm not going to be able to use it for a little while, but uh, I've got some kind of like rocket barrage. It looks like they're just churning through my entire fort. Oh, that's okay. Right. I said I was going to try out that sword. My son was going to trap the sword. Oh. I can't do it alone. I need reinforcements, Commander. We're working on something. Hang tight and protect the fort. The sword, the sword seems like it might be fun. There's four different classes. And it's like halfway tempting to It's halfway tempting to go ninja, but honestly, I think I'm going to have to see what my friends go. I, honestly, I might actually just switch between them kind of freely. It depends on how the uh Leveling and loot system works. Damn, Commander! You've been holding out on me. Oh, she has some kind of weird purple fireball shut move. I don't know, whatever. Wording is hard, I am tired. I'm just kind of enjoying this actually. This reminds me of Orcs Must Die, but a lot more freeform than it, than uh, Orcs Must Die, which I rather appreciate. Because I was a huge fan of Orcs Must Die 1. I didn't really like, uh, well, I liked 1, I liked 2, I didn't like Unchained that much. This feels good. So far, so good. Yeah, I want to know the key differences between the classes. That satellite is rusted oh, oh, in wow. space. That is, oh, that is terrible. I, I stand corrected. Wow. Oh, great. They're in space, too. <sighs> Let's deal with that later. I hope the end game levels are in space. That would be amazing. Okay, so what are we going to call our home, home base name? Uh Bot House. Okay, edit banner. Sh 
Shell wants this little moony thing. Okay. So you want the moon earth? Oh. Founder pack banners are awarded after the tutorial. Oh, shoot. We've got a lot more. Oh, my God. <gasps> no. Llama. But the, the... You can have the moon. I can have the llama. Wait, but this is... Is it your personal banner? This is my personal banner. Okay, fine. Then I'll have the moony thing. Okay. Otherwise, I've got, like... Star Stars, or V, but mostly llama. <laughs> Hopefully I can change these things later. Should be able to. Okay, mission rewards. Level 4 loot. So we get uh, wooden floor spikes. Uh, how do we switch between next? And a handmade ruler sword. Oh, it really is one of those like metal ruler, ruler things. Metal That's great. Okay, medium uses fast and Okay, and main quest. So this is, uh... Interesting. These are main quest stuff. How do we get loot boxes? What's up? Really, though, I'm just listening. I am super tired. Okay. Yeah, so Shell, Shell will be kind of here, but mostly kind of not. Ooh, daily reward. Okay. So let's see what the daily reward is. 200 EXP. I don't even know how that works. Shell, go take a nap if you're going to be, uh... Uh, if you're going to be doing this. I think... Can I just immediately invite? I I don't know. I Huh. I can't imagine I can invite people yet. Yeah. It looks like I'm probably There's yeah. probably more tutorials you have to complete. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out cuz it feels like I'm not uh to tutorials anymore. Oh, there we go. So we got a bunch of different quests that we can do. I think there's also like a big overworld map that I can do. Oh, let's play now. And um, do I have to play it with people? Is this I have traveling no to lobby. Yeah, I don't know. What kind of heroes do you have? Okay, so it looks like currently I've got Ramirez. Just, just Ramirez. Yeah, uh, so she's probably one of the default starting characters. Oh, uh, edit hero squad? Okay, yeah, so that's this is something that I can do And if do you got the later. packs, you would have uh Well, I, I have the packs, but you have to finish the tutorial first. Oh. So establish the storm shield, complete missions, upgrade and defend. So... What happened to the Earth? It looked like the it's entirety this, of like, South America and everything was just... Was it under cloud uh, or was it... A purple superstorm thing kind of rolled in. But it seems to also the be powering ended. the zombies. And then the game ended. And then the game froze. That's worrying. And there's sound effects. Might alt F4 and try this again. It's a little shaky. But it's also a new early access game, so I can't blame it too much. Okay, so uh, it's a slightly different setup right now. Um, so the PC the PC version broke on me and could not actually be fixed, which sucked a bit. Uh, what I, I I I wish that I could just like load it up and the cutscene would run, but instead, no matter what I did, it would just freeze. So what I've done is actually loaded Fortnite up on my PS4. This game has, uh, you know, profile save transferring between every platform, I believe. You just log in with your Epic account. Uh, so, we can actually make some progress here. On the PS4, which should be stabler, at least for the time being. Hopefully, uh, this is going to be the only major bug that I run into, but... I don't know. I'm just... Uh, if this is the only major bug that I have to deal with, that's going to save me so much time and effort. Looks a little bit lower quality, but I guess it's, I mean, makes sense. It's probably just the res or the anti-aliasing. I don't even know. I really don't. It's interesting. I, I almost never play the same game on both console and PC. Uh, but the ability to do so is actually really nice. But yeah, hopefully... I'm going to shift in my chair a little bit and drop my mic. Hopefully I'm just going to be able to... Uh... Yep, that's the. this is the cutscene that was freezing on me. I can't believe it! People are still... We can save them! This could be our thing! Where do we start? Oh. I, I get it. I have people I'm looking for, too. L look, so what if there are storms and monsters? If we all pull together, we can bring all of them home. What do you say? 
They're closing in too fast. We're not gonna make it to the door. That's our cue, Commander. Pop, head down and prepare the storm shield. You'll be fine. Out you go. everyone. You are now protected by a temporary storm shield. But I think I know how to turn this little home base into something incredible. If we can upgrade and protect it, this storm shield can keep you and everyone you rescue safe from the storm. And that's where you and your construction chops come into play. You are a talented builder, like Frank Lloyd Wright or Bob. So let's get started. Go activate the storm shield. Got you something. Okay, there we go takes a bit to exactly remember what I'm supposed to do. Uh, well, no, it takes a bit to relearn the controls. Uh, depending on, like, uh, you know, what you need and so on and so forth. Well, no, not what you need, what platform you're playing on. Sorry. Getting really distracted based on, like, what I actually need here. So let's activate the storm shield. I thought it was already active, but I guess not. Hi. That's a thing. The goal is to protect the storm shield from any attackers. Here's what you can build! But we don't have the resources to build that quite yet. And here's what we do have the time and resources to build. Still good. Let's get started with the basics. Can't build without resources. Let me send some for you. Okay. around the storm shields. Let's start with walls. You have wood, stone, and metal. Okay, triangle to switch. And then, okay, press R2 to build, L1 to change the building material. Metal is the strongest. Okay. Well, I can't build it? Oh, I see. It doesn't want me to build it there. It wants me to build it everywhere else. I think I can upgrade these, by the way, but that'll have to be at a later date. Okay, yeah, I'm curious how much tutorializing we're gonna have to do here. Shouldn't take too long. Now, add a door. Wall, ceiling, floor, wall. Uh. Does it want me to do this? Nope. Okay. Ah, there we go. Or... There we go. Okay, that was confusing. I'm just like trying to puzzle through what it's trying to tell me to do. Okay. Well, this isn't gonna take too long. I'm just, I'm like sitting here being like, uh, press this, then this, then. I'm not used to playing sandbox games on a PS4, so it's super confusing for me. Oh, we want ceilings too. Uh, oh, it looks like it uh, just lays down nice and easy. Nicely done. Looks like we could use some traps. Place a floor, ceiling, and wall trap. Okay, stand at a floor, ceiling, or wall. Press square to enter the trap picker. Okay. 
Uh, so we want to we want to go with this. Okay, there we go. Place trap. Place. You think it'd almost be context sensitive to uh, what kind of floor traps? A retractable floor spikes or wooden? Well, let's go retractable. It sounds more dangerous. Those are the basics. Now let's finish the build. Here's what you need to construct. Low walls are great for slowing down the enemy, and they don't get in the way of your bullets. To make a low wall, enter edit mode. Remove the top two rows. Okay, so we want to... Oh. Circle, go into edit mode. Turn these back on, and turn everything... Oh. Okay, that's clever. I'm going to have to relearn this. The, uh... The moment I go back onto PC, but seeing as this is kind of having weird limitations... It's life, I guess. Okay. Confession time. I uh broke the airstrike. Let's not dwell on who crashed what into a mountain, all right? So for now, we'll stick with grenades. Here's a target for you. Try throwing a grenade at the target. Nicely done. Looks like we're ready to defend. If your walls take damage during the fight, you can repair them as long as you have enough of the matching material. You may want to craft some more ammo, but after that, you're all set. When you're ready to start the fight, select Expand Shield from the Storm Shield console. Not possible. How do I switch weapons here? Wait for it. Ah, there we go. Okay, so let's switch to the machine gun and let's go give this a go. I'm not prepared, but I mean, heck, whatever, it's tutorial. Expand Shield. Send requests for help for next defense. Leave with party. Huh. Here we go. Shield power increasing. As expected, the shields have gone a little flaky. Let's see if the storm notices. I think it did. You've got this, Commander. Defend your storm shield. Nope. Pitcher, thrown bones. Okay, so we've just got those coming in. Guess I gotta just work on this guy. Unfortunately, uh, well, I guess we do have grenades that we can just chuck here. I probably gotta worry most about the uh, the pitchers. What if you can rifle butt? Catch. I don't know. Oh, that was really disappointing. I was hoping I could almost arc the uh, arc the shots over. Uh, and you ch chuck a grenade, like, real far. I've been playing a lot of EDF lately. And the idea of EDF is, well, like, EDF-style grenades and whatnot. Really, really tempting. Satisfying? Bit of both, really. Then again, I don't know. I, oh, dude, if you could cross, like, EDF with, uh, with Fortnite-level, like, visual style, I think I'd be real happy. Now, it does look like, uh, ammo is going to be a serious issue here. Yeah, I got a headshot streak. I can't wait until I can play this on PC. Headshot streak should be so much easier to do. Oh, that's okay. Anybody else? Yeah, there's one last guy. I guess I could probably chuck a grenade at him. Dunno. Okay. And you. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have have a nice fun time shooting here. I'm I've heard some kind of uh discouraging things a little bit about uh how ammo works in this game. That you have to craft it yourself, but you burn through it rather quick, which we are already kind of discovering rather quickly. I hope the uh, I hope Epic actually kind of uh, takes that under under advisement, because it kind of suck if this turned into one of those games where you had to grind just to be able to grind more. I've already experienced that with, uh... Ah, pitcher. I've already experienced that with uh, Albion Online this week, so I'm like, I don't... I don't want to have, like, too many new grind games to pick up. I kind of just prefer, uh... Prefer games that are meant to be beaten without, like, too much, like, insane, insane effort. At least on the low levels, it seems fairly uh, easy and rewarding. 
Like, I almost actually say this game would be best if it, if there was, like, a minimal variance in, like, enemy health just variety. I, uh... I don't know how many of you guys have uh, ever heard of or played Plants vs. Zombies, the first one. That used to be, like, banana... Uh, not bananas, but, like, that used to be hella powerful for, uh... Powerful, popular, back when I was in uh, college, but uh, that was you know eight years ago now. <laughs> uh, but that game had a really good scaling system, so you never really felt like uh, things were getting out of hand. I mean, by the end it was kind of out of hand, but whatever. Daily bonus, totally XP gained. We got a skill point. Oh, that's interesting. We also got. Up to level two loot, maybe three loot. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's cool. Okay, but yeah, let's go back to home base. If we're lucky, that was the last of the tutorials, and we can go on to main gameplay. I'm I'm really not sure. Okay, so I've received hero exp. And a mini reward llama. And we also got Storm Shield Defense 2, which gives us the Copper Knight shotgun. Oh. I like shotguns and V-Bucks. It's a dangerous world out there, Commander. Luckily, the vendor tech store has you covered. Visit the loot tab to claim your complimentary mini llama. While you're there, use the V-Bucks in your account to purchase your very own upgrade llama. Oh. Swing away and loot those llamas. Okay, so. Okay. This is kind of goofy. Okay, so we're getting a bunch of EXP things, a pipe, and maybe something else. Oh, a hockey stick and small pipes. So it looks like a lot of just random garbage. But there's also an upgrade llama. Larger upgrade llamas can be purchased with vendor bucks. Vendor bucks can be earned in game or purchased. You have enough to buy an upgrade llama. Oh, jeez. Hey, an axe. Take it on home. So we're getting some uncommon... Oh, survivors. And some founder's coins, and some other stuff. That's a bit unfortunate. So they've got a premium currency already. That's something that I'd almost prefer that they not have early on. Okay, now that you've opened your llamas, you're ready to get uh, ready to move on. You now have access to your skill tree. I pressed A button and something happened. Enjoy your oh, I see. Don't forget to claim your mini llamas and spend the V-Bucks you've earned by completing missions. So I do get base Kyle. Rush to sweep the walls clear. Oh, and bull rush to sweep the walls clear. Hero EXP. Collect all. Oh, these are my pre-order rewards. So we get the copper grenade launcher, double punch, and ammo shells and slugs. Standard edition rewards. So... Banners, I really like that banner. It looks goofy. And then deluxe edition ban uh, rewards. Look, okay. Don't tell anyone else. So I get a bunch of llamas. But since you got in on the ground floor of this whole saving the world thing, we got you a little something special. Check it out. Uh we get EXP boost for myself. Okay, so how's the EXP boost work? 30% more EXP for myself, 5% to all of the players on the team. Uh and if everybody uses it, that's a decently large boost. So it's the same thing. 50 inventory slots. So we get Ramirez, Jonesy, Penny, Kyle, Ken, Sarah, AC, J and Jess, and then a bunch of weapons, including the Founder Pistol. Uh, let's see, a bunch of Founder's Daily Rewards, more weapons... Okay. Well, collect all, I guess. A skill tree upgrade is now available. Okay. You can spend skill points to unlock and upgrade your abilities. Right now, you have enough skill points to unlock a new hero class. This scares me. Purchase the constructor leadership node. This this whole like uh, thousand V bucks for ten bucks thing. That's legitimately like terrifying, from a uh, from a gameplay balance perspective. Because any game that like immediately starts touting the uh, premium currency really early on generally means it's going to be kind of a painful grind. Oh, uh, We're probably going to be fine. Well, let's... Let's... TV treasure. 
loot all of our our llamas so we get schematic exp copper rifle and i think another survivor okay and then let's claim all five five of my llamas yes hey a guitar okay so we get survivor ruler sword another Enjoy. survivor and a copper thingamadoo some more founders coins Okay, next guy. This one's gonna st I should probably actually listen to what they have and to say. All she wrote. Okay, bunch of rare survivors, but I assume survivors are people that we put in our fort to do things for us, presumably to fight off uh, enemies when our base gets attacked. Oh yeah, you got the goods. Bit unfortunate, but eh, whatever. Oh, I can speed it up. Good. Uh, Ooh, neat pitchfork. That's not a pitchfork. Well, that's me. Okay, so we get yeah, more of that. So honestly, we just end up getting a lot of fairly basic Ooh, stuff. That looks sharp. I do really like the ruler sword. I uh, Oh, that was interesting. Oh, that's a nice change. Sock it to me. Okay, so he got he went like wow. platinum. Not too shabby. Survivors, a lot of things. And more founders coins. Ah, and an epic survivor, but no characters. Okay. And everything else, so I need more founders coins, which I'm not entirely sure how to do. I guess every upgrade llama should probably get us one. Uh, there's also the ranged weapon llama, which... Okay, filled entirely with ranged weapons versus variety of goodies. Okay. Skill tree, tier one. So, constructor leadership allows constructors to join your hero squads. Okay. I'll grab that. I don't even know what that does. Nice work. Get out there and build something amazing. And don't forget to keep an eye on your skill points. The skill tree is your best bet for boosting the power of your home base and earning new powerful gadgets. Okay, so I think we're good there. So we have schematics. The shield is up. The survivors are safe. Ramirez is ready for action. Not a bad start. Okay. 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 Good reporting. One small note. Let's maybe try not to cry in the war room. Even if the radar looks like, like, wow, that's entirely red. Um, Commander, we've got multiple storms converging on home base. And no idea how to fight back. Well, you knew that last part. But luckily, I've got... I'm sure there's something here. Pop, got anything? Ha, here we go! In case of an after-hours emergency, contact your 24-hour tech support agent. I'd call this an emergency. All right, I found the location. Let's get going. Interesting. I'll have to look at the heroes. So it's telling me about more stuff. I just want to see if I can do multiplayer things at this point. So there's transform, there's a couple other things that I do not know at this point. Oh, I see. I didn't look at the floor spikes and maybe some other stuff. Oh yeah, there we go. So it will tell me everything that's new there. Okay, so squads. Survivor squads. No idea what those do. Squad bonus. Oh, that's cool. That's a neat looking skill tree. I've looks like it's mostly just unlocks but still that is actually that's actually rather nice looking so we can switch our main hero with any of the available ones here now it does look like you can upgrade the heroes so that they uh probably have more health abilities so on and so forth unfortunately i don't know what uh what character i'd even want to play as i don't know what uh the different classes can do and so that's going to be something I'm going to have to look at later. Uh, let's see, so there's the map. Okay, that's cool. And then there's play. So, before and after science. Complete a fight the storm mission. Can I get people in for multiplayer, or do I have to do this uh, alone? I don't know. Well, one way or another, this episode's gone on long enough. So I guess we will find out uh, whether or not I'm I'm still solo for the next episode or not. 
on the next episode of uh, of Fortnite. So I'll see you guys then, and as always, thanks for watching. Also, of course, uh, if you're wondering why I'm playing the solo, I didn't have a choice for this one, but hopefully uh, for every episode after this point, except for like maybe some side grinding things, it's mostly just going to be played with my friends, which should be fun.